Hello and welcome to the Safi Learning Center. This short tutorial will show you how to create a custom section. Here we have the example of a truss bridge which has been modeled in Safi. Some bridges have some particular challenges. For example, in this case, there may be different sections of the bridge that are neither standard sections nor non-standard sections available in Safi. In this situation, it is possible to create sections that are called custom sections in Safi. If we visualize the different types of sections, we can see the standard and non-standard sections. There are also built-up sections that we will look at a little bit later in this example. As an alternative, it is always possible to use custom sections. To run the analysis, some properties are absolutely necessary, such as the area, the inertia, and the torsional modulus. We can also specify the external dimensions of the section to facilitate visualization of the section in the model, in addition to a characteristic shape. In addition to these data, one must specify the design properties to be able to perform a calculation to limit states for a section. For example, we will have to specify the type of symmetry of the section and the section compression and bending classes. Once these parameters have been specified for all custom sections, it is possible to perform the limit states as for the standard or non-standard sections. In certain situations, it may be necessary to create build-up sections. In this example, a built-up section was created. To create a built-up section, a master section will be required. The list of shapes available are shown here. In this example, we chose a C-shaped box toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The master section, as well as upper and lower plates, can be chosen. In addition, the width of the built-up section is given here by the value A. The properties of this section are also influenced by the behavior of the plates. Often for this type of section, the upper and lower flanges are not continuous plates. This will often be discontinuous plates or struts. These elements influence the properties of the section relative to a section having continuous plates. There is an option here to determine the nature of the plates for the section. For the built-up sections, the calculation of the set of properties is quite complex. Safi then uses a finite element model to calculate the properties of the section the most accurate way possible. For example, the gross area of the section is a little bit more than 5700 square millimeters. The properties are calculated by considering that the plates are actually struts. If one chooses a continuous plate in place, and then recalculate properties, we can see that the gross area of the section is completely different. Thus, it is important to consider this option for this type of built-up section. I will reopen the built-up sections for further details. The user must specify the classification of the section since the calculation of the classification is influenced by the way the sections are attached to each other. Both for compression and bending, the user must specify the classification of the section. To facilitate this calculation, Safi shows the classification on the main section when not attached to any other part. In this case, we can notice that the class in the section alone is non-compact. This information can help you determine the class of the built-up section. This concludes this example. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit our website at www.safi.com.